What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Red in the last part. Uh, we did all of uh, Route 24 and saw Bill, and I got the, uh, if I can load the boss, and I just saw it on you. We got the Ice Attack. Now, before we do anything in this part, I'm going to go into the shops really quickly because, uh, yeah, we are going to do a uh, very specific uh, task. Uh, first of all, I'm going to sell the nugget I have. That gets you $5,000 time to sell it. And on top of that, we're going to buy a shitload of Pokeballs. Like, uh, we're going to buy uh, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe 15. That should that should do it. But, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a certain glitch uh, that uh, we can only do in the red, red and blue version. I think you can do it in the yellow version, but I'm not 100% certain. So, um, here's the deal. We need Abra to do this glitch. There is a way around getting Abra, but, uh, basically, uh, I'll explain that more later. But, uh, now, uh, what we're gonna do is uh, a very famous glitch. Now, we're gonna go after Mew. Uh, Mew was an event Pokemon back in the day that basically every generation has its own event Pokemon that if you go to, like, uh, your game store back in the day, basically, uh, they give you your event Pokemon. Now... The, a lot of times in Pokemon games, the only road team event Pokemon is through a glitch. So, uh, now, um, what you want to do is, um, what you want to do is, uh, here, activate this glitch. You want to, uh, stand above this area, then go down and pause. And then use Abra, then use Teleport. So, you want to keep this trainer alive also. So, uh, you want to keep him, you want to, when he, uh, does the, uh, when you notice you, you want to lower back to Pokemon Center. Also, as you're doing this, your start menu is also paused. You can't go in the start menu. So, uh, what you want to do also is you want to go up Nugget Bridge. And, uh, you, gotta, you want to go up Nugget Bridge. And, uh, up Nugget Bridge. And, uh, I just gotta, sometimes it's just gonna... Now, there's another trainer I intentionally kept alive. And, uh... I intentionally, there's another trainer kept no alive. Now, uh, be careful if you, I didn't fought, fight all the trainers on this route, so, uh, just be a little careful now. This other trainer right here, you want to keep alive. You also want to go up, because if you go, uh, if you face in front of him, normally it'll crash the game. Now, uh, we want to fight him. Dad took me to a great party, and I stand in Vermilion City. Now, we gotta fight him. So, uh, if you want to make the Mew Glitch work, uh, you want to keep those two trainers alive. I'll find a, I'll, I'll address a second way to do the Mew Glitch later, but, uh, I actually didn't switch out, so, uh, yeah, we're just gonna use Bite, so, uh, we are facing a Slowbog, unfortunately, though, uh, Slowbog is in part Psychic, but, uh, but I've already gone over this, but Bite is a normal type move in Gen 1, so, anyway, so that wasn't a hard trainer, now, um, what we want to do now is, uh, we want to teleport back to the Pokemon Center, but I also want to switch out, we're gonna teleport back to the Pokemon Center, And as you notice, our start menu is still jammed, is still uh, not working. However, if we go back on Nugget Bridge, this is why I bought a shitload of Pokeballs. Now, um, this are and uh, we're encountering Mew because the start menu goes back up now. So yeah, it's the only way to catch Mew legitimately is through a glitch. Now, my strategy to catch Mew is to sing and to put this to sleep, and because it is fast enough. And on top of that, um, we're going to try Water Gun a couple times, because Mew's got really high special defense. So, uh, if we pound this thing, it's just going to be taken out. So, uh, we just got to be a little careful on that. We just got to be very careful how we approach this. Yeah, we can do another Water Gun. So, yeah, we're not, I don't I'm not going to risk another Water Gun. Now, we're going to chuck Pokeballs at this thing. Mew has a very low catch rate, so, so I have like 30 Pokeballs. We're just going to keep chucking Pokeballs until we catch this thing. So yeah, that, that's it's going to take a while. But uh, the interesting thing about Mew is I'm not going to use Legendaries on my team, but Mew can learn any TM in the game. And there we go, Mew is caught. Mew is a new species and uh, so rare it's still said to be mir mirage by many experts. Only a few people have seen it worldwide. And we're not going to give this a nickname. So, uh, yeah, we've caught Mew. I guess what we can do now is uh, go to the Pokemon Center. First of all, we're going to heal. 
Now uh, we're gonna put me in the PC. We we are not. I'm not gonna use legendaries on my team. I've always had that rule not to use legendaries because let's be real. Like we, I have some rule against like version exclusives and all that, but like using legendaries are flat is flat out cheating. And uh, yeah, so uh, we're gonna go to build CPC. We're gonna, uh, now um, we're gonna keep Abra out for a bit, but uh, yeah. So uh. Let's see, uh, yeah, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do now in this part is, uh, go to the, uh, Cerulean Gym. As we have not done that yet. Flash! I'm first up, let's do it. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so we're, we're gonna fight all the turns. Now, I wanna get my Jigglypuff up a, up a couple, of, up a level or two, maybe, I don't know, but, uh, this is the Horsey. It's actually a new, uh, Pokemon, uh. It evolves into it does not involve in a king draw on like later generations. And does not involve in a part dragon type either. So uh We are unfortunately not taking the, we're taking this on three years. So unfortunately, the unfortunate thing about Jigglypuff in Gen 1 is that it, it's really good, but it takes a while to get good, let's just say. Like you have to teach you have to do you have to I'd say uh, this works in early gens, and uh, it's better if you give it every possible move. We're going to get better moves with this later, but... Uh... And uh, I'm I'm going to try to see if I can, I'm, I can maybe try a defense curl, but uh, uh, it doesn't matter. I think we're going to take one more. Uh... doesn't matter. It's going to use with Now, Shelter's physical defense is really strong, but its special defense is really weak. And also, this is another gym you'll have a disadvantage on if you chose Charmander, sir. Now, I'm going to go back uh, and heal really quick. Anyway, so back to the gym. There is one more trainer left, and it's actually this uh, trainer right here. I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. So, uh, yeah, we're facing... Uh, we're just facing a female junior trainer. So, uh, yeah, this is before... Uh, He's gonna have a Goldie now. If you chose Bulbasaur, uh, Goldie knows Peck, which is actually really good against a Bulbasaur. Anyway, so uh, yeah, not only did it, like ten damage. So uh, can we get a level up? Uh, no level up, unfortunately. But uh, you overwhelm me now. Uh, this is Misty. Hi, you're a new face. Trainers who want to turn pro have become a policy have to have a policy about Pokemon. What is your approach when you catch Pokemon? My policy is all about offensive with water type Pokemon. I don't know how that works, because most wa all water type moves are special attackers in Gen 1, but uh yeah, Misty wants to fight, and Misty sounds sorry. She's gonna have a star you and a star me. Yeah, so this is a very tough fight if you chose Charmander. It's a very easy fight if you chose Bulbasaur because uh, you are res we are resistant. We'd be resistant if we chose Bulbasaur, but um, it's it's even not that bad really either if you chose Squirtle because if you know Bite at this point, it should be a War Turtle at this point. If you know Bite, you'll have an advantage definitely, even though uh, Bite the normal type move. And uh, Peach Girl level twenty four. And Peach is trying to learn Double Slap. We are not going to teach that. But uh, the thing about Double Slap is in, in Gen 1 also, um, if one Double Slap is a critical hit, they're all critical hits. That's the way the mechanics are in Gen 1, but they're also a Starmie. Now, unfortunately, Bite's a normal type move in Dark in Gen 1, so Starmie isn't going to have a weakness to uh, Bite. If you're playing Fire and Leaf Green, if you're working on those Crunch, the Starmie is, like, really easy. I might try, like, Tail Whip a couple of times, but I might try, like, a Tail Whip a couple of times, uh, and then bite it to death. Because, uh, it's- this thing's not gonna do much damage because we do resist Bubble Beam. It knows Bubble Beam, which, uh, a very strong move at this point in the game, but, uh, we're gonna- we now we Tail Whip a couple of times, we're gonna bite it to death. Oh, yeah, we're- we're definitely, uh, it didn't even use Bubble Beam a single time. And Bowser's level 26. And we defeated Misty. Wow, you're too much. All right. You can have the Cascade badge to show you beat me. And we got 2079 Pokedoff for my name. 
And cast me down and draw Pokemon below 30 Obey. That includes even Outsiders. There's more. You can now use Kite anytime. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM. Bear received TM11. So uh, yeah, TM11 is Bubble Beam. If I can uh, if I can lower it, yeah, Bubble Beam. We're gonna feed it to our War Turtle because uh even though Peach can learn Bubble Beam, uh She's better with the normal type moves. We're gonna replace Bubble with Bubble Beam. I have another. I, I have a different move plan to get rid of Tail Whip eventually. So uh, yeah. So um, I think that's gonna cut it for this part of Pokemon Red. So uh, actually, there's one more thing I want to do. Now nah, we'll cut it off. So uh, I just gotta get my Pokemon healed. So uh, I guess we'll cut it off and start for the very short part. But uh. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna cut off this part of Pokemon Blues, Pokemon Red. So, uh, next time Pokemon Red, we're gonna get, start heading to, heading out of, uh, Cerulean City. See you guys then.